Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Fernandez here, uh, coming to you live from Chicago, Illinois. Um, and today guys, we're going to be talking about why most people fail in network marketing. You know, network marketing is a challenging industry, uh, but there's some common things, some common practices that, you know, we see a lot of people just do over and over and over again. And as you guys heard the saying, when you, you know, you do the same thing over and over and over again, and you expect different results, it's the definition of insanity. So, what I wanted to do, guys, I'm going to dive into those common mistakes that we see a lot of people do in this industry. And, you know, one of the things that I noticed is that some people are so stuck in doing these things. They're like sold to these same strategies that I don't know why. So let's start from the beginning. You know, in the beginning, when you first come on board to the industry, um, you know, we, we definitely love to share our business opportunity with our friends and family, um, share with the people that we love. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. But what the mistake is, is, is number one, how you approach your friends and family. So if you approach them in a harassing manner, you approach them in a manner where you're expecting a result, it's going to kill your momentum in business because you, you, know, you can't control what your family does. And if you only rely on your closest friends and family to get results in business, then typically your pipeline is going to dry up. So that leads me to the second mistake is, People don't learn marketing outside of just talking to their friends and family. Yes, this is word of mouth marketing. And yes, you know, typically the people that buy from us the fastest are people that love us and they trust us. But the main issue that we see is nobody knows true marketing. So I, you know, I always call out network marketers. I said, hey, the problem with network marketers is they don't know true marketing. So let's take a look. Let's dive into that. If you take a look at the industry and you go look up hashtags in this industry, you see a lot of people who do the same thing. It's like an army of people. I mean, thousands of people who do the same thing. So the question is, if you're doing those same tactics, and let's name them, mentioning your products all over, not even actual brick and mortar businesses do that, right? They don't even do that, where you're just constantly pounding your timeline, pounding it with your product and your service. People are going to be drawn out to your message because nobody wants to hear that all day. So the first one is constantly promoting the products and services, right? That's not actually marketing, right? If you look at marketing, if you, if you take a look at a commercial, it, the, the only companies that can get away with doing that are big brands that, are, that have been around for dozens of years. But take a look at what the smaller brands are doing. They're letting you know in their marketing that their product can solve a problem, right? So it entices you to want to learn more. But the problem that we see, and I saw this actually, I was actually listening to Damon John. He was live on um, Instagram the other day. He said something so powerful that, you know, I, it, he, he doesn't, he's not involved in network marketing, but he said something in general about many businesses. He said, you know, people think that because they have a social media presence that, you know, all of a sudden your clients are just going to come start buying from you on social media. But if you look at the statistics, very few people actually buy from you on social media. It's usually taken outside, right? It's usually taken to a, a web link. It's usually taken to a, a phone call. It's usually taken to a Zoom. So the question is, what do you do with your marketing on social media? How do you perform? How do you show up? And one of the main things that you want to do is you, the first one, it's all psychological. You want to get into the mind of your clients, get into the mind and you have to understand how they're thinking. So number one is, is identify, okay, how is, my, how is my potential client thinking every day? Because here's a problem that I see in network marketing too is we, we market in a way from a perspective of another agent in our business. So what I mean by that is the, the, the verbiage that we use, the, the lingo that you use, the only people that are going to understand you are other people in your industry. So what happens is you're not going to get clients because the only people that understand your post or are finding your post are other people who already sell what you sell, who already recruit, you know, in your industry. So a lot of marketers, what they do is they, 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 they put their post up you know, and they want to get one target market, but they end up getting the wrong market. To take a look at your, your, you know, your friends list, if you're in network marketing, if you did some of these tactics before, what you'll notice is you have a lot of the same friends from the same company and the same thing. That's cool and all, but who, how are they going to buy from you? How are the same, the people from the same company, the people from the same industry, having all of them online, how is that good for you, right? How is that good? How many of those people are actually going to pull out their credit card and buy from you? Zero. The answer is zero. 
So when you formulate your marketing, what you got to do is get into the mind of what your client's thinking about, right? You know, let, so let's, let's take some examples. You know, let's say that, um, you know, you did, you know, health and wellness and you're selling a health and wellness product. Well, the average, you know, person, you guys see it off, you hashtag, I don't know, Herbalife, if you hashtag some of the major network marketing um, companies in health and wellness, what you'll notice is they, they do all the same thing. There's nobody sticking out. Um, they all kind of attract each other. Um, you know, all they do is have like these sessions online where they mention their product over and over and over again. And in their mind, what they're thinking is, man, I have the most awesome product. This product is so amazing. But everybody thinks about that, about their product. Everybody thinks it's amazing, but your client doesn't. Your client doesn't know anything about the product. So what you got to do is you got to bridge that gap to get them to the point where they experience your product, they like it, and then they can say it's awesome. But a lot of times when, when we see marketers marketing, they try to get people from point A to loving the product just off of a Facebook post or just off of an Instagram post. And that's not how marketing works, right? So how do you get them, you know, how do you bridge that gap? So they're right here. They're not familiar. They're not educated on your product. And you're over here. You know how your product works. You think it's awesome. You love how it smells. You love the box it comes in. You love everything. So what's in the middle? So the middle is finding out how your, 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 your potential client thinks, right? So in health and wellness, let's say that, you know, all these people in, in network marketing, how they market their business is all they do is just kind of drill you over the head with their product. It's over and over and over every day, over and over and over again, right? But what they don't realize is your potential client is waking up thinking, okay, um, man, I, I don't have any energy today because, man, my health is deteriorating, right? They're thinking, man, I woke up this morning and I couldn't even tie my shoe because my belly is so big. Your potential client is waking up thinking, man, if, if I don't fix my health, this sleep apnea is going to get worse. If I don't fix my health, this diabetes is going to get worse. If I don't fix my health, then, you know, I'm not going to be around for my kids, right? These are emotional things that are going on in their head. So when they see your post about, you know, this is an awesome product, it tastes amazing, it doesn't connect with them. So what do you do? How do you bridge that gap? Is you start to talk like your client talks. Don't talk like an agent in your company. Talk like your client would talk. So for example, if your client's waking up every day and he's saying, or he or she is saying, man, ah, it's just, I, I, this diabetes, I'm, I, you know, I'm pre-diabetic. So you do videos saying, hey, you know, are you scared? Are you pre-diabetic and you want to switch that around? What happens is your, your, your potential client is scrolling through Facebook, right? They're scrolling and you're fighting. You're fighting for attention on Facebook because there's so many people posting. But then he or she sees that post that speaks to their heart. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to stop. They're going to say, whoa, I was just thinking about this yesterday. I was just talking to my wife about this. I was just talking to my best friend about this the other day. And now you got their attention. Now you got eyeballs on your stuff. But when you're just posting products and, and, and you're hiding behind your products, you're not going to get that person to stop scrolling because all they see is just another person. So here's an analogy that I learned in a mastermind the other day. This is your product, right? Most network marketers or people in direct sales, their product's like this. It's like they're, they're behind their product marketing, right? Take that product in your marketing and put it to the side and you stand in front, right? And what I mean by that is you become a hub of information in regards to your, you know, your industry, in regards to your niche. And then when that person shows interest and they say, I want to learn more, what can you recommend? Then you bring the product back out and say, hey, check out this. I think this will help you. But what you guys are doing is leading with the product. Leading with the, it's like if you go to a doctor's office and he was holding, you didn't even tell him what you had. And he said, hey, try this, this medication. And he's like, well, what is it for? I don't even need, no, I'm good, doc. I don't, I haven't even told you what I have wrong with me, right? You wouldn't prescribe something to, uh, your doctor wouldn't prescribe something to you if, if he didn't first do an analysis, a check, and make sure that you're suitable and that, you know, this is something that you need. But that's what you guys are doing in your marketing. You're pushing a, a product down people's throats that not everybody needs. So how do you find what they need? Well, you put the products to the side for a minute and then you say, okay, you, you, you find the common thoughts that your client is dealing with, right? And, and, and then, you know, I get this question a lot. Well, how do I find the thoughts of my client? I always tell people, well, what attracted, what problem did this product solve for you? 
And they said, well, you know, I was going to run a marathon and, you know, I decided to, to get in shape. Bingo. You can speak now. You have a testimony. Hey, are you looking to get in shape because you have a big event, a marathon coming up? That's true marketing. That's how you attract people. Once you attract people, now you can get into the, to that one-on-one -on -one conversation and say, well, hey, what are you looking to do, right? You're that doctor. You're, doing, you're looking for, you know, to create a diagnosis. You say, okay, what, what are some things you're suffering with? What are you looking to improve? Based off what you told me, now you can, you can bring back that product. So, you know, if you want to improve the industry, you want to start to see results in your business and in your life for network marketing, get this product out of the way. It's blocking people from getting to know, to like, and to trust you, and it's repelling people. You know, product pushers are repellent. Who, and by the way, it, let's talk about why that's a popular thing. There's two reasons why that's a popular thing. Number one, the leaders in some of these companies tell you to do that. Why? Because the leaders in these companies have thousands of reps so if every rep just sells one they're killing it right number two these leaders have they can do it themselves because they have a huge following they have millions of people who follow them that they've built over the years so that leader can go online and say hey guys check out this product guess what his 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 whole market will probably buy from him because he's influential but if you're starting off and you're new you can't do what they're doing. You got to start building that brand. You got to start building brand recognition, becoming an authority and becoming knowledgeable in what you do. Think about this. If you're going to go buy a car, would you just buy a car from somebody who's just pointing at cars and saying, hey, this one's good, too. And this one's good, too. No, you're going to talk to this car salesman who knows a little something, right? Who has a little knowledge because you can hear how he's talking about it. He's educating you on different things. You're going to say, man, I trust this guy. He knows what he's talking about. It's the same thing in our industry. Same thing. And then uh, obviously the other reason why you see this a lot is in our industry, there are people who are already in, they're already influential in the industry. And, and, and what I mean is, let's say you had a product and it was, I don't know, a skincare product, right? You help people with acne, you help people with all this. And let's say that, you know, there was a doctor who his whole life went to school for dermatology and, 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 and practiced dermatology and just built a huge practice. Well, that guy decides, oh, I wanna add this product line to my, you know, to my, my line of products. Well, he's gonna kill it because he has a dermatology practice, right? So you can't copy what he does. And I, I see that a lot as well. People try to copy what somebody in their company who's an expert does, that doesn't work. That guy has a dermatology practice, right? Same thing in health and wellness. You know, there's doctors who are nutritionists and they, they sometimes they become distributors in, in health and wellness because you know they, they they like the product and then what happens is they'll recommend the product online to their friends family and dozens of people will buy from them why not because the way he posted it because he had a reputation for many years of being a nutritionist so anything he posts anything he says people are like oh yeah let's buy from this guy so you cannot do the same thing because you're brand new you don't you're not a, you weren't in that industry for many years as a professional and then on top of that you don't have you know, the, the, the influence like that person does. So from the beginning right now is you gotta formulate what you're gonna do with your marketing, right? So the, first, the, 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 the best lesson I'll tell you for beginners is invest, learn, teach, right? Invest in learning about your industry, invest time, invest nights, invest you know, in courses, invest in mentors, learn from them, take notes, you know, get notebooks, and then reteach that stuff. When you reteach that stuff, what happens is people are going to come, you know, your way. They're going to come, they're going to be attracted to you and they're going to ask you questions. When they ask you those questions, that's when you can recommend your product. You can say, hey, this product I think will be a fit for you. This product I think will be a fit for you. Um, and by the way, guys, um, I put together a 10-day boot camp. If you're in network marketing and you're watching this and you're wondering, man, I, I want to learn all these strategies. I want to learn from the beginning to the end. How do I build a brand? How do I become an authority? How do I, uh, you know, post content that attracts people to say, hey, you know, I, I want to I wanna buy from you. How do you get recruits online? Um, if you want to learn all of that, I put together a 10-day marketing boot camp. It's 10 days of hardcore, you know, courses where you get to learn. Um, you get to learn from the beginning to the end, in-depth content marketing, in-depth how to build a brand, how to become an authority, and not just be a product pusher, but actually build something that's going to last. If you want access to that, go ahead and uh, comment below. Um, I'll give you access to that course. It's normally $300, uh, but we have it on sale for $99. Bucks. It's a 10-day course, so you get 10 courses. 
Um, and like I said, this is in-depth stuff. I do how-tos, walk you through setting up your first lead magnet from the beginning to the end. I walk you into six uh, proven scripts, pro basically proven scripts that you already, um, you know, that already have been proven. These are scripts that I shared at my office with people and they came back to me. They're like, hey man, I got to recruit. I recruited this guy, I recruited this real estate agent, I recruited that person. Um, I put together how-to videos on how to do email campaigns and I showed you how to structure it, what type of content to put, how to utilize Facebook groups, um, how to st uh, sell stories online, um, how to do a Facebook Live. So I go into depth uh, with all these strategies. It's a 10 day, several hours. So I recommend maybe taking an hour a day into these. Uh, but it's $99.97 right now, normally 300 bucks. And we go deep into some of the stuff I covered today and we go deep into other strategies. So uh, if you're in network marketing and you're watching this and you're thinking, man, I want that course, let me know, I'll send you the link and you can take advantage of the limited, limited time offer. So appreciate you guys. As always, your success is important to me. I'll see you guys out there on the field.